guys today I'm gonna to show you how to do um, I'm gonna do a quick recipe uh, basically I'm gonna do some nice um, fried bangamiri and I have I'm gonna do some salt and rice I'm gonna show you my version of salt and rice with some bangamiri so for the bangamiri I'm gonna show you how to season it so I get some garlic I'm just gonna put a little bit of garlic quick seasoning garlic a little bit of turmeric for the color then, then i'm gonna add some thyme to this and i'm gonna have goya seasoning one pack of goya seasoning this is not much it's just a little bit like that And just a tiny bit of salt because the seasoning already got salt. Get the mix. Like that. Look at the nice color you're getting. And while my oil is hotting, um, hot, I'm gonna start frying this and then I'll show you how I'll, I'll do the salt and rice with this three, with it. Let the oil heat it up. I'm just gonna add the fish to fry and then I'll take it out and then I'll start doing the rice with salt. I'll show you the way I do that. Okay guys, welcome back. So this is the the, the crispiness you're looking for this fish. So see how crispy it is? That's how it is. So we're gonna take it out. Then I'm gonna start the salt and rice. Simple, easy, and quick recipe for you guys. Okay guys, this is what I'm gonna show you what I'm using. One nice hard tomato. Tamarind, fresh tamarind. Onion, spring onion, and cucumber as well as lime and pepper. So I'm gonna start by just add this to the rice. Make sure the rice is warm when you put it. So you don't need to heat it up because this you're not gonna heat up. You have to eat it right away. So I'm gonna dice it like that, small pieces. This is a quick, quick recipe. Well, it's not even a recipe, I should say. It's a quick thing that everyone in Guyana basically do. So I'm gonna cut up like that. Put it in there. I'm gonna do. See, you need hard, hard tomato. So you're gonna dice the tomato up. Small piece as well. If you're making small amount, you don't need to put this much tomato. But if you don't even like tomato, you don't need to put tomato at all. But I just, it tastes really good with tomato for me. So for that, I'll just put half is good. It seems like it's more than enough. Onion. Fresh onion. This is gonna give it a nice crunchiness. Quick one onion. Just like that. Put it in there. I'm gonna cut up the spring onion. And this, once, as soon as you finish um, make this, you have to eat it. It's not something that you will make and let it sit. So, and I will eat this any day. I 
I don't need rice and curry. I got the fried fish, some fresh white pepper. lime you can put one lime as well I guess again it depends how much you're making this this amount I will use two lime to get the acidic flavor it's a little juice so I'm gonna use now I'm gonna add Salt. I'm gonna add some oil. Not too much, just a little bit of oil. Get a toss. Perfect. So I'm gonna put it on a plate and I'll show you how it looks in a minute. Okay guys, here you get it, have it. Salt and rice, some nice fried bangamiri. A lot of people, sometimes people put the fish inside their rice as well. You can do that if you like, but I like it on top so you can get the, uh, taste it. The crispy crunch of it. And let's see the rice. Perfect. So, next time you get some leftover rice at home, just try it. If you don't want to cook anything, it's really fast and easy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.